Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back for Show Gaming v Under Control. So, the draft is underway, and we will jump straight back into it. Apologies for that brief break, but yep, we are here for Show Gaming v Under Control. This is our fourth game, actually. Wow, the games are actually gone ridiculously fast. So, obviously, we've been uh, casting UK Dota all morning, myself and Quest. You've been having fun, Quest? Yeah, it's been a good time. Yeah, there's been some good games, a variety of different games, and this game, we have already seen some standards banned out again, Le Shrek, Bloodseeker, uh, Witch Doctor Dazzle being banned out for Choke, and on Under Control we see Tusk, Winter Wyvern, Shadow Fiend, and Bounty Hunter. This is going to be one of the f uh, first games where we don't see a Shadow Fiend go through the draft, and... Um, yeah, it's, we're not going to be seeing it this time. But this is also the first time we're seeing an Undying picked up for Choke Gaming. They take the Undying up straight away. Interesting. He, the, the Zombie Menace. Yeah, it's interesting because not only has he slipped past, which is rare enough, but you've also got the Gyro and the Quap getting past as well. Hmm. Yeah, which uh, immediately get picked up by Under Control. So they are going extremely quick through this draft. Undying Jakiro Zeus coming out for the uh, Dire here on Choke. So Zeus, uh, obviously, very, very nice in how much damage and burst he can bring out. But we've got some big picks up here from under control. Gyrocopter, what more can you see? He's the carry that does it all great every stage of the game. Um, get a few items up onto him as well. We become unstoppable. Queen of Pain. To live so much burst, get Agonims out onto her. You've still got so much AoE. That's actually going to be so hard for them to fight into. You're looking at cooldown and the ultimate from uh, Queen of Pain. Sonic Wave just tearing through them. As well as the ability to go for an Orchid and just get that sort of single target kills, etc. Shadow Demon and Lina. An old school combo. If you get the disruption into the damage amp, coupled up with Lina with the Laguna Blade, you just tear through people. And Windrunner, which we saw game two, which was Anta playing the Windrunner. A very convincing Windrunner, may I say. But we will be seeing, uh, I'm assuming we're going to see BW on the Windrunner, but obviously it's quite open their draft at the moment. So I believe, yeah, BW should be on the uh, mid lane. So, cool. It's quite a big thing to live up to as well. Antab really did shine in that hero. Mm. Playing very well. Looking at the last banner. Interesting to see the Bounty Hunter band up. Um, Naturally, if you've got this sort of like early aggression, you've got to go for these kills. You can have like a roaming bounty hunter go around. Track provides so much because then it just gives you more each kill, more value. It's just important to keep yourself ahead of the game gold wise. Yeah, it is very important. And you look at Choke Gaming, there's no like massive items that they need to have. Maybe the Zeus with the Scepter and the Refresher, but that's very late. But it's still nice to have that extra gold if possible. Yeah. And the next pick up here for Uncontrol. They are going to be going into this. Um, they've already got the Queen of Pain, Shadi with Lina. So if they want to have the uh, Lina support, obviously you want to be looking at a uh, off lane. Well, saying that, Queen of Pain could be taking the off lane. There's, it's quite versatile, their lineup, because obviously you could have the mid uh, co op, the off lane. It's a uh, nice balance in it. One of the few games where we won't see an Earthshaker go through as well. Um, Earthshaker could do a lot, so I could understand people wanting to ban around it. Obviously, choke ban up that center. Looking at other off lanes, there is they could go for a clock, something along those lines, you know, like something to give them the more guaranteed lockdown to catch, say, a Zeus, a Wind Ranger, and stuff, and maybe force them to build up the uh, four stuff. And they got to go for a Phoenix instead. Kind of nice because you think about who's going to be standing there or attacking it. Wind Ranger, obviously, is the only one which is super good against uh, it. But you look at Jakira and Zeus, it's kind of awkward for them to get in. And Undying's going to have to walk in to slap the big egg. And they've got a lot of lockdown as well. You think about if they land the LSA, or if they manage to get the Wind Ranger in the disruption from the Shadow Demon, hmm. all of a sudden you've got one less person to hit the egg. Yeah, and this Science Sir is the last pickup. If you see a Phoenix and you think, okay, we'll get a Science Route. It's really nice. So, whilst the game is paused, let's go through the team. So, this is uh, Under Control on the Radiant and Choke on the Dire. So, on Under Control, there is I Am A Magic Girl on Lena. I believe that's Hanako? Maybe. Apologies if that's not Hanako. Uh, I believe that is, though. Baza on the Gyro. Sweet Nothing on the Phoenix. And... 
Big Tits McGee on the Queen of Pain with Zelio on the Shadow Demon. And so, on the side of Choke, we've got T-Pain, I believe that's dupes. Yep, that is dupes. We've got Day playing the Jakiro. Uh, big Willy, 197 inches, going to be <laughs> playing up that Zeus. Be a big friend with uh, Big Tits and McGee. Yeah. We've got Logarithmic on the Undying, and the Poly is going to be playing that Silencer. Well, everyone's in the position, ready to rock it. Uh, yeah, so dupes on the uh, Windrunner. This is going to be a nice game, I think. If they could get a bit ahead, Choke could be uh, one of these team fights. <laughs> I was like, what is that noise? I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since I've seen the, <laughs> the Zeus taunt. That Mario S noise really throws you off occasionally. So, they are going to go through it where they can. Fighting for the bounty down bot, it looks like they've gone all in, just guarantee that bounty rune down here. Just play it safe like that. Up top, you've got Phoenix that could sweep in and try and grab it, but... If the silencer is obviously on point, you could get the silence off before it and they stand there, but Phoenix is just going to fly away because there's no risk to it. Let's just see what happens. So, Zeus with three tangos shared as well. Maybe a little bit excessive, but we'll be grabbing this bounty up for him. So, bounty top going to Zeus, bounty bot going to Queen of Pain. Looking at uh, how they're... Lena, so we are going to see that Lena just be getting the wards out where they can, as obviously Queen of Pain just comes to sit in their lane. Phoenix taking that off lane, going up against the T Pain Wind Ranger, the support silencer, or I should say, of course, say dupes because I will start calling him T Pain now. And obviously, Lena got the sentry down there, just make sure there's no wards up the high ground already. So, Ball's got to be coming out for both fairly shortly. Actually, the uh, Queen of Pain will not be going for that ball rush and will get a full null as well as Tango's up top. There's the science onto Phoenix. Now he can't dive away because obviously you can't get the cancel off. This is so much harass. Actually going to be getting focused down. Sweet Nothing's in trouble. Goes to dive now and power shot finishes off by Dupes. Nicely done there. Unfortunately, Dives doesn't move to the side there. Just continues on his path and will just go down. So nice play there to finish him off. Literally the level one power shot, so it's, it was close with him trying to get away. He did hold the dive, didn't try and just dive with the, uh, uh, didn't just try and dive with, uh, you know, the science on you, you just end up where you were. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame that it ended how it did, but it was just dupes, he knew where he was going to go and they didn't try and dodge it, so right in the face. Hmm. Our magic girl wants to try and get the harass off, so Hanako wants to go in here, see if he can f focus up anybody, but just continues to get the all attacks onto the Undying. Queen of Pain Middle's taking a hell of a lot of harass from Zeus, obviously just shocked back where he can. Has got that stick up on him, which does help, but Zeus going to be grabbing a, another rune shortly, so topping up his bottle. Other lanes, obviously, Phoenix. Hard time, I think you've got to say hard time against the Sciencer, because that last word is just so good against them. And coming up as the last pick, it's really thrown a sparrow into the works for their lanes, for the, uh... I, I, I really like this, because you don't really see the sort of support Sciencer that much, but it works out so well. As well as having the aggressive duo of Undying Jakiro, this is a lot of harassment. It gives them a lot of chase potential as well. You've obviously got the Phoenix and the Quop that are both quite mobile and can get out fairly quickly, which can be completely stopped by the Silence. But also, if they're able to use the Silence at the start of a fight, UC doesn't really have that much right-click potential if it's fairly early on. Well, Big Tits McGee, got to be getting that uh, bottle out fairly shortly. Zeus is just trying to see if there's any potential to go for a kill whilst just continuing to lane around. I'm surprised with this aggression down here. I was expecting them to go more all in. But then again, you have got the disrupt capability to try and take them out of the fight. And you want to try and get, build up levels on the Undyne, get that tombstone more of a threat. Lena going uh, low on the HP and just uh, continue to go their own way there. Not really walking into more. Are if Choker able to... Uh hold their own even in this lane, not even get kills. They'll be doing all right because a two versus a three, they're going to start getting this uh, experience advantage and up top it's going to split it out a little bit more evenly as well. Looking at bot lane, this gyrocopter, I always get a bit worried with gyro because he's currently saying a third of the last hits. We have seen the dupes of Steen and he got first blood as well. Obviously Zeus middle's doing very well, but 
when the choke starts to go the aggressive, you've got Zeus helping them out from mid, you've got this Undying already, and will they be able to stand against this? Zeus really wants to get this last bolt off, and he gets it off onto Queen of Pain. BW able to finish off Big Tits McGee there in the mid lane. Down bot, Jakiro could go for a bit more harass, no liquid fire, 4 seconds, there's a the disrupt, unfortunately that is a little bit of miscommunication, they focus it up anyway and it doesn't matter because Jairo gets him off, they may have missed the stun from Lina, but it doesn't matter and the tombstone goes down. So the disrupt gets Baza in place, he then uses rocket barrage which finishes him down, regardless of the fact that they didn't have the um, light striker rate hitting. But obviously Skull, Soul Catcher, just a damage amp out with the amount of damage output they've already got. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. So up top, Nepali Jesus able to uh, continue to just stand. Even if he doesn't get the auto attacks off onto the Phoenix, him standing there means that uh, Phoenix can't come any further, which means Sweet Navi has to stay back and just do this occasional dive, because if he was out as he does that, the last word comes out and then, yeah, really just messes with him. Can't use it in the defensive capability. He needs to, like, dive in, grab XP, try and get any last hits he can down bot. Ice path was used. Doesn't connect onto anybody, though. They will slowly start to get more and more aggressive as these level advantage continues as well. That uh, Liquid Fire level 2 now is going to be doing significantly more work, and with the Ice Path and the second leveling team, so they could start to make things oh. happen. Queen of Pain mid nearly went down to the Zeus there, and obviously down bot they went pretty low as well. Shadow Demon pretty dang low, and close to getting a return kill. Obviously, the stick paying off for um, the Queen of Pain, Big Tits McGee. It, it's just a shame that uh, the Zeus ha had to die there, but you rotate people into mid, and you're going to expect to get a, another kill for it. So, Hanako going all the way back to the pool. It's nice to see him rotating to mid, getting a kill, and then just able to come back on himself. Currently 2 for 3, the kill's not that important at the moment. Zeus is still farming away. Has got his arcade's ball and his full wand on him. And there's no there's no Sonic Wave now. Obviously Zeus has used his armor as well, but there's a smaller cooldown up for Zeus. So he can continue to just farm up where he can harass. And there just needs to be one more shock. He actually blinks down into the pool. At the pool. The river, beg your pardon. River. He will blink into it and just die. I thought he was going to go back towards his uh, tower there. Do you think it's just that he was looking that way and then realized he needed to blink straight away? Uh, possibly. It could be that it was nighttime and he was hoping he'd get out of vision. Mm. But even if that was the case, they've got this ward here that's giving them plenty of vision, so that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, again. Oh, someone comes close. Zeus tries to shock him down. 13 seconds. Uh, unfortunately, he won't be getting anything more. 9-1 charges on the Zeus now. Has got ball as well. And BW is still going to just hold this lane. He may die once, but it won't really matter. Zeus throws out Zolma. Unfortunately, doesn't kill the Lina and no one low, well, that low bot. Jairo is just backing out on the tower. Unfortunately, the tombstone will just go down here. Nope, the creeps will be there to tank it, and they are being forced away from their tower again. Day, down here bot, is just going to be throw out the liquid fire wherever he sees an opportunity. And can try and just continue this lane pushing back. Force the Jairo away from the creeps. Phoenix is doing all right now on level. Still not great, considering they're in the off lane, level four, but the same level as the carry on Baza and the support on Choke. Choke are very much in control of the game. Point booster out onto dupes now, so he's got that out. Helps his stats considerably, and apologies continues to just pull as much as he can. As obviously Phoenix trying to burn down these creeps and see if he can find anything. Talked about this gyro. Four star lane, behind on last hits. I mean, Queen of Pain's on 31, he's on 28. Obviously, every time he's sitting in the pool, it's not that great for him. Has got the one value point in Rocket, and now Day game focus down. There's the damage out with the large strike away. They get the kill, and now turn to focus down the tombstone. There is a heal onto it, but that doesn't really stack up the zombies that much, because he's already used flat cannon. So, Bazaar gets a kill and the tombstone. Yeah, he went to the Shadow Demon. Oh, Shadow Demon got the kill himself. Right, ah, okay. Did he also get the tombstone, or was that Gyro on the tombstone as well? Uh, Gyro got the tombstone. But Gyro got the tombstone, cool. He would, have, he would have much rather preferred the kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least he gets something out of it. Oh, obviously, we'll get the shed gold there. So, BW, staying battles, he's still got this dagger on him. He continues to just shock up. Two nulls out onto the Queen of Pain. And 
we are going to see global silence being skilled now. The Parley Jesus hits that level 6 mark. So, they are going to be putting pressure onto this tower where they can. That's Tranquil's up onto Phoenix. Not the best game for him. Five last hits, died twice, and he's struggling for levels as well. Couple that against this uh, lane down bot. Obviously, Undying hasn't died. Been laying with the Jakira. Jakira has died twice, though. But they are at least getting more farm out of it, even if they are dual lane. Fortunately, the shackle there from Dupes won't latch. It was a, you know, it was a fishing uh, a shackle. See if they catch anything out, and doesn't really work off this time. So logarithmic down here. Bot is just, just waiting to see if he can use his tombstone again. But as I said, the tri lane they were against has been a little bit of a, of a pain to play against. So he's moving towards that veil. Is he going straight for that early veil and then? Going to gather for fights, that could work out quite well with their team, but Shakira again, just they keep throwing this out. You get the decays on him and then you just liquid fire and there's just so much harass. In two levels that's gonna be just horrible because it's gonna go down to that four second cooldown. Hmm. Well Day's just gotta to continue to spit fire as much as possible. Zello on the side has Head got that disrupt available, one. and if he catches one of them out away from the creeps with the amp, there's a haste on Lena. So Lena's got to be here for this fight, just waiting down the river. There is vision though, so they know she's there, so they should just, yep, yeah, continue to stay back. So obviously this ward sc scouts out the Lena, so they know about it. Could go for Zeus, BW. Needs to think about running. Obviously, if he just dodges it, this could get his ultimate off. He does have that available, unfortunately. Yes, will get it. Does have some portal charges. Unfortunately, it's not enough to keep it alive, but at least he gets a return kill. Phoenix up top. Silence behind tower is not going to be dying. And has got a salve as well as his tranquils. TP just cancelled there. And they will just continue to run around. So, Shadow Demon standing back down bot. Gyro. Pretty low, and like I said, this uh, two, this uh, duo here, it's going to continue to keep them low. I thought this aggressive duo was going to get more kills. Not going to lie to you. I don't know how you feel about this uh, quest. Oh, here yeah, comes the disrupt. Like... With the damage up, Light Strike Array will hit. Obviously, that was a nice stun from Day. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough. That will attack does finish it off. The tombstone is up, at least before he dies. BW's going to turn up a clean up shot. That's going to be one kill. There's going to be potential for the second. Stun again connects onto Hanako. Hanako will get some off before he dies, but BW turns up to the fight, knocks him down with lightning, and that's a double kill going its way. 5 2 0 on Tim at the moment. And he's not content with that. I've got to see if he can find the gyro, but unfortunately he's already gone. But Queen of Pain will kill the science. The science is like, okay, whilst mid's away, I'll try to get some XP, unfortunately. Big Ticks McGee's got other ideas and is happy to dive. We are looking at a very low tier 1 bottom now. That uh, 4 second cooldown on the liquid fire is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's really nice for this uh, sort of situation, so they keep going for this. Uh, push and just harassing everyone out. And we're going to see BW hit level 11 very soon. So looking at the items, as I said, Phoenix hasn't really got anything in this game, and it looks like Queen of Pain is just going to be going for that Agam straight away. It has already got the point booster onto him. Lina has that Ring of Regen as well as the uh, Sage Bus. Wants to try and eventually get up a Yules, but has picked up the Tranquil. So not just going the brown boots into Yules, and there could be potential for a catch and a pile of Jesus on the side, but that is going to be a silencer running against the Gyro, so he does just play it safe. Has put a wall down as well now, which is uh, very important indeed. So Baza heads towards the middle at the moment, whilst everyone else is gone. There is the Shadow Demon and the Lena top, seeing if they can catch out Dupes, but Dupes is uh, about to have this Aghanims out. In the mid lane, we see BW still standing, Big Ticks McGee uses balls, it's balls v balls, but BW has just run out of charges, he's going to go down here, and Big Tits McGee will back away, Depali Jesus really wants to finish him off, and unfortunately wasn't able to get in range. Maybe could have used Global for the start of the fight. Uses Global now and it's just getting all attacked down. Logarithmic turns up, wants to punch the leader. Use the Laguna Braid on the Silencer and will get a kill, but unfortunately won't get the extra intelligence. Now Fierce turns up, wants to be burning down Logarithmic. Turns, uses his armor. Dupes can't stand there to attack him. Gonna get hit by the disruption. And if he times that just right, not quite in time. Unfortunately, he was gonna be running out of it anyway, so he didn't have a choice on the disruption. But Sweet Nothing wants to try and burn down Dupes some more. And unfortunately, he's already gone behind the tier two. 
during all of this, we have got Day just doing work on the bottom lane. Yeah, he's to continue to push, and that tier two is going to fall. 40 minutes in, he liquid fires oh, uh, again, and that is still ticking. The cooldown's been used, wants to get the stuff onto Lina, which does work. The rocket's coming still, and he is going down, I'm afraid. Nothing more he can do, and Day will again die. Doesn't finish off the tower as well, and puts it in deny range. The tier two's now, well, I think it was in deny range for one, so he tried to commit to get the tier, uh, the tier two, and unfortunately it won't happen. Radiant's bottom tower has been denied. So, Shadi, let's see if he gets this disrupt. BW, try to run home. Has got this failed. The tombstone's been used. They are going to try and focus him down. If BW comes out of this fight now, there's the armor with the veil. Is he going to turn it around? Yes, he is. Double kill, triple kill. And Hanako, the magic girl, is going to try and run all the way home. Nicely done. The tombstone was just baited out, they had the disruption there for the Undyne. The second he came out, BW was like, alright, I'll emerge from the trees, drop my veil, drop the load, and easy kills. Yeah, that was a beautiful ultimate. It just did everything they needed to do, and then all of a sudden, there's zombies all around them, there's lightning falling from the sky. There's nothing you can do in that situation. Radiant's top tower mm. is under attack. Well, um... Yeah, um... Yeah, it just, it was a hard fight. At least they didn't all die, but it's still not the way they wanted to go. And BW is now 8-3-1, 1.3k on him, has the veil, and is absolutely rocking it. They want to go through for more, Napali Jesus will at least uh, kill the Phoenix threat, but two go down top, unfortunately. Um, Queen of Pain will now just be TPing back. T-Pain, or dupes, gets the shackle off, Shadi even just goes down there, and this is just people dying all over the map now. It starts with a couple of catches, obviously that Iconim's out onto dupes means these focus fires can be very, very nice. The momentum firmly in the Choke's hands now. Yeah. They're, done. They're doing pretty well, 5k advantage in the net worth and 5k in the experience as well. Again, dupes ready to go for another shackle. Unfortunately, the opportunity is not quite there. Getting hit by that rocket barrage. Uses the focus fire. Will just back out. Gets hit by the rocket. Nice shackle. Will latch. That is a, a, a level three shackle as well. And unfortunately, unable to run him down. The gyro is able to stay back. Cooldown's been wasted. Phoenix dies forward. Does have his Olmo available. Could pop that supernova. Global Science comes in. Zeus obliterates the big bird. And Hanako on the side. Getting hit by the Curse of Science. He goes down. This is more intelligence going his way as well. And they now look like they could push for more. Dupes did die to the Phoenix burn there, actually. So, yeah, that will get that kill. Looking at the last hits, though, he's well in the lead. 100 last hits on him. Couple that to the 64 last hits of the Gyro. If he continues this with the extra towers and stuff, I don't think they've really got any need to threat. Unless they use going straight for that Aghanims into Daedalus. Get that through, and then the single target damage is going to be through the roof. Yeah, you can see the net worth difference already. It's absolutely huge. And now Phoenix comes in, uses all, but does hit the, sp uh, the spirits enough, so they're going to be slowed. Stun misses on the Pali Jesus, Big Tits McGee finishes off Shakira. Day dies yet again. The Pali Jesus on the bat line's going to try to get dodge the cooldown actually. Baza goes for logarithmic and BW, but BW still standing, and they've got to be careful because they're pretty low. The Pali Jesus goes into the trees. Unfortunately, it's not enough. He will die. BW will finish off the gyrocopter, still standing again. The shackle will latch. There's your power shot. Gets another kill. They've stayed too long. Four go down for under control. So they took quite a few back to back then. Mm. It's, it is a interesting exchange. Like, under control, okay, they lost four, they did take two down. Uh, Zeus Solomon wasn't even up for that fight, was it? Or he didn't have the mana, one of the two. He's got to get that Aghanims out shortly. Okay, Queen of Pain's now got the Aghanims, which means this always got to be up for these consistent fights, but... Well, it's constant fights, but, uh, yeah, it's... It's difficult. Especially now this Wind Ranger is a, such a uh, factor. What do, what, what do you think their quest? Do you think there's much hope for under control at this point? They've got... Around about 6k gold their way. Look at the XP, 7,500 XP. 
Obviously, oh, there's the Yules into the stun. Day catches up the Phoenix. Unfortunately, that's a very short start indeed, so they can't get anything more with that. Dupes could try to get the Shackle, but no, doesn't want to just murder Hanako outright. Big Tits McGee gets Shackled up, uses Ulmer, but will go down. Yeah, there was a Global Science just in case he didn't go down in time. And BW has got a haste room, could continue to run out. There's going to be another bolt onto him. There's a Disrupt, which does connect, but... No one else is about, so BW's safe to run three. It does seem like this game would be a lot more even if it wasn't for that silencer. Nepali's been landing perfect uh, globals. Yeah, Hanako sitting in the trees, but... Well, this... This is uh, the issue. Like, they can't fight with the global silence up. Because obviously the lack of BKBs, Gyrocopter really doesn't have enough here at this stage of the game. The Kyrie just sits there, but it's just the, yeah, it's just the spooky Kyrie just flies out and then comes back. Okay, well, they are just uh, trying to get them going there. Uh, the Ancients are being stacked, but currently not that massive of a stack. Choke definitely hold the reins at the moment. Hmm. It comes down to the fact without the... Uh... Without the right-click damage that the Gyrocopter can bring out later in the game, UC just don't have the potential to go in and take a fight. Mm. True. Uh, there's uh, Midas being purchased out for Phoenix. The recovery Midas. Like I said, he, he's had trouble getting anything all game, so it's it'd be nice to get in the Midas. So, both teams, obviously, Choke could go for Roshan. You've got the uh, Aghanims up onto Dupe, so you could focus this down. There's Dave, be able to get a stun off. Uses Magnifier as well, there's nothing to shackle to, so they can't go through. But now, this is going to be the Disrupt onto him. Could try and go for another kill here. And this is going to be Dupe's running away with that Sonic Wave. Thirds it into a double kill. Cooldown used on the side here, catch up the BW with the Rocket Barrage. He gets a double kill before he dies. He might go down, but he's taking a lot of people with him. And Logarithmic will heal him up, but it doesn't make a difference there. He still dies. Double kill for it. The zombies need to just get focused up before they become too much of a hindrance. Sweet Nothing will TP away. Under Control really needed that fight to go like that. A lot yeah. of gold onto the Gyrocopter, and he's been able to pick up his helm with the Dominator now, so that's something. Well... 1.2k gold in the Phoenix's pockets. Looking at that fight recap, there's a fair bit of gold for key members. We talked about the gyro not having that much, so any gold like this really helps him out. 2.5k going their way just from pure gold gain. And smoke's now being purchased as much as possible. Obviously, choke, grabbing a smoke where they can, and under control will be holding on to theirs for now. Okay, so looking at how this game is still going on, obviously we've got 21 minutes into the game. There's a mech up onto Undying. He's still walking around with little to nothing, but this tombstone is still such a factor. Gyro has to get closer. Zeus is still going to blow him up until he gets this BKB. And even when he's got the BKB, he's still not going to have the damage output. It's, it's got to be challenging for him. Dupes just counter warden here. One of the nice things as well is, at this point, Logarithmic can come into pretty much a full-on healer. He's got the Soul Rip at level 4, the mechanism. It's going to be making a lot of difference. Hmm. Yeah, the amount of healing he brings out is actually uh, gross. Like, he kept the Zeus just with the Soul Rip alone. He kept the Zeus alive just to uh, get a couple of bi uh, bits of extra damage out. Day could come in with the Yules here. And if it's enough time to get dupes in range with the stun coming down, yeah, connects onto him. Is there a Shackle? Unfortunately, he breaks all the trees, so that means that doesn't allow a Shackle. But actually, Big Tits McGee sets one up for him anyway. No! Dupes then goes to the Creeper rather than du uh, the Big Tits McGee himself. And they are now looking at a tower being pushed. The Phoenix wants to dive in. Comes in global science uh oh dive straight in four stuff down power shot connects him on the way out and they will just try and run these people down to party science is big tits mcgee but no cooldown will hit on two two here and i know walks out of it my striker ray connects with the rest of it that's the sonic wave coming into him hits him Baza in trouble as dupes tries to run him down bw with the ultimate and that is going to be a double kill his way. Queen of Pain gets away. The last person standing. And tier 2s are going to start falling now. Top tower is under Pure attack. massacre there for under control. Mm. Top tower has so, 27 kills their way. This is 
kind of gross. Obviously, there's no buyback, so there's, there's no need for the buyback at the moment. The high ground's not being threatened. It's troubling for it, it, how much they go through now. Like, looking at 7,500 gold going their way, 7,500 gold, couple that with the XP. They could go for Roshan soon if they want to, but they could continue to take these fights. There's going to be the next global sides up in a minute. And tier 2s are going to continue to just fall. Phoenix tries to dive in. He knows the globe was down this time. Yule's up. Going to get stunned by Day. And he will get fo finished off by that power shot there. Day is going to just run back as best as he can. And will then go to TP home. Sweet enough, it's just a power shot ma magnet. It's awful. Yeah, I think the amount of times he's been finished with just power shot alone is uh, considerable. VW with that... Uh, Aghanim's out onto him now. Hits the level 16 mark as well. If he gets that refresher, they're near enough melting. There's got to be no one left standing. Yeah, I'm very concerned about that. It's going to be... He could probably finish easily the supports off with just the combo alone. Yeah, there's uh, two smokes currently. Oh, BW finds another kill. Lena goes to TP away. Unfortunately, BW just dodged the stun, so there was no need for him to... Uh... Well, there was no chance of him TPing away. Another smoke purchased here for Choke. And they can try and catch more people. Yeah, that's the trouble now, because obviously the map control from Choke has... Anyone goes to their woods, they're going to uh, find nasty men waiting to uh, do things to them. Uh, Windrunner will pick up this Blink Dagger. And it's going to be ready to go catch more people from there. So it's just keeping it with just the uh, Chrysalis for now. Obviously the Blink provides a hell of a lot for them getting these catches. There's been quite a few times where the Queen of Pains just go away. If you have the Blink in, a uh, Shackle, and obviously you can get the chase off as well. Vale does connect onto the Gyro, but doesn't want to just throw out a bolt there. Well, Phoenix is still ready to uh, dive in. Does have his orb available there. You can fight against everything now. If you fight into the Global Silence... And you don't really have the fight capable here. Here we go. This is it. Again, Yules. Stun sets it up with the macro pie. Global sides. Big Tits McGee is just burning down. And Dupes gets another catch there with the Zeus. That's the triple kill. Bazaar tries to escape. And unfortunately, he's just going to go down here. We'll do a little bit of damage before he goes. But that's the team wipe. Choke take another team fight without losing a casualty. Another perfect silence as well, cancelling out the co-op TP just as she went to do it. Yeah, if she's not able to blink away from it, it's like... It's a, it was a split fight as well. Uh, Zeus comes in from the bottom. They were started a fight onto co-op, so Day catches co-op out with the Yules. And it just didn't make any real difference because... Um, I, I like that banner there on the floor with it looks like a landmine. I, I, I saw there were some pigs out in there which just brought to my attention. Anyway, Queen of Pain has ball back, has got Sonic Wave available. Could try and make something with the armor, but it's still not going to change much. Phoenix ready to dive in, has got his ulti now if they go for that as well. Gyro's up, they will just be backing out. Happy to get the tier 2 and the tier 3. And here we go, smoke now used. Raid's coming again. They may be anticipating them uh, moving away, but there was a ward here, so... We'll spot out the majority of it. They did smoke up in return. Yeah, so both teams just got a right show up to And Sciencer with the Glimmer Cape gets caught there. There's going to be a stun. <coughs> Big fun. And there's the Phoenix comes in, doesn't able to get his ultimate off, and will just dive straight into the Ice Path. Zeus wants to try and run down the gyro. It has got the zombies on him as well. It does have flat cannon, so good time to get a flat cannon hits, which we'll is get the zombies off him. Unfortunately, he's just going to be going down there. There's another power shot. Makes it a triple kill for dupes. And they just get more and more. Good game. Well played. Under control. Go down. Choke gaming. Take it into 27 minutes and 30 seconds. GG. That was a very convincing win. Yeah, very well played by them. I've got to say, the uh, Sciencer last pick, especially for the Phoenix, just completely killed his game. And... Uh, the rest of their lineup was very nice as well. BW on the Zeus in the mid lane was able to achieve a lot. Uh, the the duo lane itself, the Undying and the Jakira didn't do that much in the lane phase. Obviously, against the tribe. But as soon as the team fight started uh, happening and they got a few items out, it all went their way. So we will be going into. I think we'll be watching Choke again for Yurasta Aal, and I'm not too sure when that'll be started. So we'll be having a very very brief break and then go into the next game. Right. 
So, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back again. Oh, this still says next game started soonish, but it's still correct. I've been Russ with me, Quest Tech, and stick around because the next game will be happening soon ish.